I'm like this close to wanting to rip my hair out of my scalp. Same thing for this side. Like it's at an awkward stage I feel like I can't really do anything with it sometimes and after I spend hours after I spend like hours on my hair the next day I wake up and it's like all that went down the drain because it just doesn't look like it did the, 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 the it just doesn't look like it did the day before so I got me some mayonnaise I used to use this in my hair um, a few months ago, but then I started buying the Miele Organics Deep Conditioner. But that thing gets expensive, and I'm really trying to slather a lot of this in my hair because it used to help make things a little bit easier, believe it or not. I just, I don't know what's going on, to be honest. Like, it's just so dry. It sounds like it's just going to break off. As I go on, I'll show you how long it is and everything like that. But right now, it's just kind of stuck to my head. And I don't know what to do. So, I'm going to try this and we'll see how that goes. The other day, it was my wash day. And I just did not want to do my whole routine because it's just so much work. So I took some of the co-wash that I had left from an old bottle and I just rubbed that in there, washed it out, and called it a day because I didn't feel like doing my whole routine, to be honest with you. So now it's just all dry because I really didn't take the time to replenish the moisture in it. But it's just, it's hard doing that every single week. So... I was just over it and this is the back I'll show you how long the back is right now it's right there so as you can see there's a lot of shrinkage but yeah I'm just gonna apply this in my hair and let you guys know how it goes as the day moves on so right away you can see my curls are springing back to life Mayonnaise has always just done the job for me, but it's really, oh, ow. I just hope that it's still nice and soft and manageable when I wash it out. That's the real test, but you can see like how that looks. I just wish my hands could run through it like this when it was dry. I was actually supposed to be putting olive oil in my hair as I do this. I completely forgot, so that's what I'm gonna do just to help it, just to help it soften it and add some shine as well. Even though I'll be washing it out, olive oil works on my hair, so why not? This section of my hair is so much more loose and when I first started my journey I like cut these little pieces like really short and then I cut this whole back section off just so that I could see like what my curl pattern was and stuff and this whole part is just like super loose. I don't know if it's like this because I cut like I definitely cut all the perm off and maybe I just didn't on the other side or if that's just how this side is but you can see how loose it is compared to the other side of my hair I don't know why it's like that but that's how long it is but yeah weird my hair is just weird like a whole bunch of different textures to be honest thank you oh i look like i just came from the gym <laughs> this is what happens when mayonnaise melts it's not pleasant but i'm finally done with this last section here so i'm just 
Oh, that's gross. I'm just kind of <laughs> slabbering it on just so that I can make sure everything is nice and covered. I feel so gross. I cannot wait to wash this all off. So, I accidentally left out a piece of it. This is so gross, like, it's messy, but it works. An extra layer in the back, just so that I can make sure it really takes everything. Same thing for this side. <laughs> I think this side of my hair is the driest out of everything. This is how much shedding I had from that section alone. And then this little pile is from my whole entire, like the other three sections. So as you can see, this part was really, I don't know if I just wasn't detangling it properly and that's just the extra shedding from it or if it was just so dry that it was breaking. Oh, I'm over this. I'm gonna go put a plastic bag over my hair for about like 30 minutes or 25 minutes so that it can warm up and really penetrate into my hair. And then I'll come back and show you what that looks like. And then I gotta wash my self off because I feel so gross. This is what my hair looks like after letting it sit in there. Ignore my washers going. But this is what it looks like. Okay, All right, so I just washed it. It's like at a really awkward length, so it looks kind of funny, but my curls look very defined. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. <sighs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put in some of this conditioner and wash that out and I'll be done. So This is all the shedding that I had. It's a really small little ball. But like I said, this back section seems to just have the most shedding. I still have some straight pieces on my hair. And I thought I got everything out, but as I go, I kind of have to just cut those off. But this has a leave-in, the same condition I used earlier but I'm just gonna be using a little bit. Then I'm gonna go in with my olive oil, again, while wow, the sun is bright. And then I'm going to put in some of this. I'm finished now. And I'm just gonna shake that out. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pick it so that the part can go away. I 
and just kind of pick up those flat curls. This back part really is just super dry. Well, that's it for this video. As you can see, my hair looks a lot better. It's not dry yet, but I don't know. It looks a lot better to me. It feels a lot better. Um, I'm probably just going to moisturize it every day with my hair milk. It actually says on the back that you can put it in every day. That, maybe this made you want to go and try some mayonnaise in your hair. Um, just beware of the smell and how icky and gross you get. But other than that, it usually always helps my hair. So, yep. I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. And I can also shake my hair like this. Alright guys, bye!